You guys, is that Cassidy? <laughs> yup, that's her. Hey, Cassidy, what you doing? On your phone, all by yourself. Because she's a freak, and nobody wants to be seen with her. <laughs> In real life, the victims of bullying often hurt much more than we realize. As this viral video reminds us. I ask you, what are you? going to do to protect me and my classmates against bullying. Today, much of the bullying teens experience is happening on social media. So much so that Instagram has added a restrict feature. I think we need to go live with this. Yeah, let the whole school see what a weirdo she is. <laughs> if you witnessed this. Aw, are you gonna go home and cry to mommy, you baby? What would you do? We've set up our hidden cameras at Van Son Park. I bet your mother doesn't even love you. Oh man, it's kind of hard watching it. <laughs> and joining us to take in the action is WWE superstar Nia Jax. Wow. She may play a bully in the ring sometimes. Just like that, the head that's top. right, that's Crazy. right. But when she's not performing, Naya spends her time fighting back against bullying. I want to hear you guys all say, I am beautiful. Cassidy's having a breakdown again. It's crazy because that is stuff that, like, growing up has happened. Kind of, to you? Really? Yeah. What did they yeah. tell you? I would always just be made fun of just for being my size. Jolly Green Giant or Bigfoot, you know. It just, it does, it kills your confidence. But Naya rose above her bullies and got some encouragement from her famous cousin, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He says, you're beautiful, you're athletic. He's like, you have so much to offer. Growing up thinking that, gosh, I don't fit in, well, is what makes me a better superstar. You're such a loser. We noticed this man coming down the path toward our scene. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. As he approaches, he puts his phone to his ear and walks by. Outside from outside, outside of school. school. That's okay. a lie. Yeah. But minutes later, he's back. I need a tissue, Laura. Yeah. What are you guys picking on her for? Would you like to be picked on like that? Oh. Finally. Good. Good. <laughs> She's a loser. Why is she a loser? Maybe she has a problem. Be your friend and help her. Don't put her down. And now he turns to our victim. Miss, if you don't stand up for yourself, people are going to pick on you. You're not standing up for yourself. It's your fault. It's true. You had to step what? in. Tell us why. No one likes to be picked on like that. I saw this girl being picked on. It just hit me. It took you twice. You went, yeah. you came by before. I thought about it. I walked by, I'm like, should I interfere or not? I came back, I heard it again. It's not normal to be, be picked on like that. You addressed the victim, too. You yes. said it's her fault? Yes, it is, because if you don't stand up for yourself, people are going to pick on you. Leave me alone. No. Throughout the day, we do see people who pass by our action without saying a word. This man tells us he heard what was happening. You literally What's have your no issue? Friends? But thought they were joking while this runner says he just didn't want to get involved. When you see that girl, that victim, what do you see? I see a beautiful young girl. So much to give. I just want to give her a big hug, actually. <laughs> In real life, Cassidy tells us she has been the victim of bullying. I was picked on for like my body type, for being a redhead. So now playing this role where you're hearing these ugly words, how does it make you feel? What makes me feel the worst is when I see people coming by and they don't do anything. I wish I could tell them, like, a girl's in pain here. She needs someone else to step in and help her. And so you can be that person. What's up, Cassidy? We're at it again. We're live right now. Say hi to the camera. Will this couple also walk by or will they step into the action? How could somebody bullies you like that? Leave her alone. She's, She's a freak. What's it got to do with you? Stop bullying. Oh, you need wow. Somebody to She's bothering us. She's sitting there. You can walk away. What is the matter with you three? She's a waste of space. She continues and has no problem getting up close to the bullies and 
giving them a piece of her mind. So are you when you talk like that. And one day, somebody will do the same to you. And I hope you enjoy it. Why don't you mind your own business? Why don't you mind your business? No, I don't like mind. to see anybody bully. Oh, are you crying again? And when the bullies won't back down, the couple threatens to take things further. Hey, I will call the police on you. All right, let's go. Let's break it. <laughs> We need to call the police on her. Yeah, maybe we should call the police on her. She's you. the worthless one. Okay, you can explain that to the authorities. Whatever. Okay. We don't care. Before they make any calls. Sir, how you doing? Let's say hello. It really upsets you, huh? Yes, it does. But but you know, kids do this sort of thing. All the time. Yeah. And you know, it leads to th you know, it leads to suicide and you know, it's just horrible. What does that do to a young girl? It self worth goes down the tubes. Naya says it's a feeling she knows all too well. Being a bigger girl, I never thought that I would be able to be in a public eye. All the girls that I grew up said, your forehead's too big, you're fat, you're never gonna, you know, be in anything. And now, like, look at me now. I'm not, you know, I'm not like throwing it in their faces, but like I had to find the confidence within myself to just embrace who I am because like being different is beautiful. Inspiring words from someone who should know. Hi guys, John Quinones here. Thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. There's so much more to see. So click on this red button down here, the one that says subscribe, and you won't miss another What Would You Do moment. Enjoy.